If you're thinking of moving to the Ontario Mills area, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about living in this community. Behind me is Ontario Mills. They get more visitors than Disneyland every year. My name is Oscar Pinto, I'm a real estate agent here in the Inland Empire. So if you're thinking of moving out here, I'll be able to share with you all the details. Give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I love getting your phone calls, I'm here to help. All right, and if you want more information on what it is to live in the Inland Empire in Ontario, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So behind me is Ontario Mills. This is one of the biggest shopping set areas in the Inland Empire, and let's go through it. Mills is one of about five major communities in Ontario, and uh, it's right off of the 15, right off the 10. Here's what we're talking about. Ontario Mills is located right off the 15 and the 10. So if you live around here, you're able to jump on the 15, head north to Las Vegas, it's about three hours from there, or south to the uh, Temecula wine country, San Diego. Uh, and if you wanna go to LA, jump on the 10, head right across here, like two minutes away from jumping on this highway. Right now, they're doing tons of construction on that 10 freeway, it's supposed to end in a couple of years. So uh, the lanes are all screwy. The road's all crazy like, so just get used to that. Also, this little pocket is surrounded by a bunch of industrial buildings. So on the south side, tons of industrial buildings. On the north side, some more industrial buildings. So this little pocket, this little stretch, it's kind of, it's not as residential as the rest of the area. We do a lot of shopping here. There's a lot of tourist bus that come out here because there's outlets. If you live close by in one of these communities, you're almost like walking distance, but you really can't walk in this area. It gets really hot in the summertime and stuff's not as close as you think it is. So jumping in on what shopping centers are around here. So there's a, uh, obviously you have Ontario Mills, but also you have the surrounding many shopping centers that surround Ontario Mills and feed off of this big uh, attraction. And uh, on, on 4th Street, you have Target, Big Al's, from 4th Street and Milliken all the way down to the 15, there's a bunch of other restaurants, shops, shopping centers. So really big shopping area. And then also if you wanna go north to Rancho, about 10 minutes away is Victoria Gardens. So you have like, again, a lot of options. And if you live in this area, yeah, you're gonna have those amenities right by. You just you know drive to where you need to go, pick up what you need, head back home. You know, pretty simple, pretty easy. I know whenever I'm deciding to go to one of the two, either Victoria Gardens or Ontario Mills, I really just pick one because each one has, you know, they have what you're looking for. So, if, and they're so huge that I end up burning out and not, you know, not having enough energy to go, oh, let me go this one and then go, you know, on the same day to Victoria Gardens, right? So. Hey, so behind me is Ontario Mills, and this is where I spend a lot of time with my family. Well, during, the, during the hot summer days, this is the actual, uh, Ontario makes this an actual cooling center for its residents. You can come here and and cool off in the air conditioning. You know, when it's 110 degrees, you don't want to be outside and you really can't. It's really tough to be out here when it's 110. So this is one of the city's cooling centers. Let me pull up a list real quick and show you the different cooling centers that they have here in Ontario. So what's a cooling center? It gets really hot here in the Inland Empire. You know, like in April, you start hitting 90 degree weather. July, August, 100, 110. So what the city's done is they said, well, we're gonna start these cooling centers so the people of the community can come here, hang out, rest, relax in the hottest time of the day. You don't have to have your AC blasting at home if you even have that, some people don't. And you're just able to there, you know, go there and hang out. Ontario Mills is huge. There's a lot of chairs, sitting areas. You just chill out, wait for that sun to die down, bring a book, do whatever you want, shop around if you want. Um, so that's that's one of the great benefits of living here in Ontario. Um, they have community centers all around. I think this is what, like 15, they're open at different hours, mainly during the hottest time of the day. At night, it cools down, you know, go home, relax, whatever. So if you do have that luxury of taking time off when it's hot to go and just hang out in one of these cooling centers, great. Uh, other than that, you know, what are you gonna do? Or, I mean, but uh, people from all over come to Ontario Mills from every town, you got, you know, it, it, it's only about a 20 minute drive from all the surrounding areas. I mean, uh, so it's centrally located by a couple of uh, highways. So behind me, you have a new community, some new construction homes that were just built a couple of years. Uh, these are, they're like townhomes. They're all attached to, they're attached together, three different levels. Um, not many amenities in this area, but you're centrally located to many other, uh, you know, points of interest. Like for example, 
I don't know if you can see behind me, but that's Big Al's, which is like a bowling alley, uh, adult arcades. Uh, you, know, you, you know, you can bring your kids. Uh, they stay open late. There's bars there. You know, you can hang out. I've been there a few times late at night. It's pretty fun. Uh, also in the shopping center, you have Target. And uh, I mean, this one, you're literally walking distance. I mean, it makes no sense to drive from your house to Target because you could just like walk there unless you're buying some big stuff, I guess. I don't know. Uh, these new homes that are, that are just built, they have lower HOAs because again, there's no pool, there's no playground. It's just like a commuter's paradise almost. You, can, you live here, you jump on the highway and you head over to work, you come back, you park it there. If you want to go out, then this, there's a hotel which is across the parking lot. This is uh, the Eureka Hotel. It used to be in a loft. I don't know what happened. Um, behind there is an, another office building and Toyota Arena. So Toyota Arena has a bunch of events, hockey games, concerts. I mean, uh, you have the Ontario Clippers, the Ontario, the Agua Caliente, you have the Agua Caliente Clippers of Ontario play there. Man, that's a mouthful to say. Um, the Kings also practice there. So this is one of the many communities. This one, if you want to you know, buy something out here, then you know, give me a call. I can give you inside scoop at what is going for sale in this particular community. And they're building another one with more amenities uh, right across the street with like pools, playground, things like that. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get more stuff, you know? So those are the couple of communities that are here. Now there are some uh, communities that are pretty close by, maybe like a five minute drive from all this uh, shopping and nightlife stuff. Um, those have been around for decade or so so it's fairly new uh, comparatively speaking it's not a hundred year old homes you know built like in the early 2000s uh, pretty good condition in my opinion um, the neighborhood is in pretty good condition in my opinion I'm gonna jump in here and show you real quick where other new communities are located by Ontario Mills. We have the one that I'm in front of right now but then you also have this uh, it's called the resorts actually technically in Rancho Rancho Cucamonga and they built, I don't know, must've been like 800 homes, a thousand apartment units. So you can rent there or you could buy there. In that area, that's where you have like playgrounds, pools, multiple playgrounds, multiple pools. Um, yeah, the uh, the cost there is uh, is higher than because it's new and it has a lot more amenities. The HOAs are higher because you gotta maintain all these amenities, right? Someone's gotta pay to maintain that pool. And still close by, you have others just around the area. Uh, there's one community that's close by, gated. Uh, that just means you got to put a code to go in. Or I see a lot of people, they, as one car goes in, they just follow behind it. So I don't know how well these gated communities do, you know, but it is a deterrent. So you have this gated community that's close by that has uh, pretty nice homes. It's a pretty nice, it's a small, nice community. I, in my opinion, well kept. Uh, the homes look like they're, they're in great condition. So if you don't buy something brand new, you can still buy something and move into something that's really good. And of course, if you wanna know all the details about each community here, go ahead and give me a call. I got your back, I can help you out with that. A typical rental unit, as you can see here, a two bedroom is gonna run you about $2,600, $2,800 a month, uh, mainly because it's you know it's new. Now, I'll tell you I, what I don't like about it, and you can find this like in condos as well if you own it, is that when you have to park, yeah, you gotta walk and walk and you walk up the next steps. And you, if you live on the third floor, you gotta go up there. I mean, but that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, maybe I'm a little spoiled where I could park in front of my house and just walk 10 feet and I'm inside the living room, you know? Um, but, but you know, if that's something that it's okay with you, yeah, and you wanna move into this community, reach out to one of those, uh, you know, this, com this company right here, this is the closest one to Ontario Mills, the area that we're talking about. Give them a call, see what's available, get on the waiting list, see what you need to do. Now, if you're looking to buy something, go ahead and reach out to me. I got your back. Yeah, so if you want to live out here, go ahead and, and check that out. Uh, they are building some more. So this uh, community is built, you know, it's, uh, it's growing. So this is a, I, I, I like this area. It's a little unique. You just have your living quarters behind you, right? You know, what's back here, you have your living quarters. You have your home and then you have some hotel office and maybe you work there so you could just walk to work that would be pretty amazing and then of course uh, you have the shopping which is we're like uh, a five minute drive from ontario mills and many other places if you need to rent then there's some also rental communities out here as well um, on the higher side because again it's uh more desirable to live in this part of town if you're looking to rent, 
go ahead and call, contact one of these guys. They'll be able to maybe help you out, tell you what's required to move in, uh, give you the different options when they think people are uh, vacating a unit. So you can go ahead and, and pick one of those up. A lot of people, they move into this area first, they rent for a little bit, get to know the area a little bit, and then they decide where they want to buy. So whatever the timeline is, I'm, I'm here to help you out.